Morning, everybody. Wow, that's great for a Friday morning. Thank you, Mark, for those very kind words. Um, Before we sort of dive into everything today, I really want to sort of share a story with you guys. Um, Eight years ago, I sat in a hotel room, just like you are today, for an internet event that was three days, gurus flying in from all over the world, giving great content. And I walked away at the end of those three days, and I thought to myself, where do I start? This incredible content. You know, you do, who, who, tell you what, who used to watch Only Fools and Horses here? Hands up. Remember Dell? Remember you used to sort of have that saying, this time next year I'll be a millionaire. Remember that one? Well, what a load of nonsense. Twelve months down the line, I'd not made a penny. Not one single penny in profit. I thought, what's going on here? You know, this can't be right. This isn't what they told me at that three-day event. Or was it? Or was it? You see, the interesting thing was, over those three days, they conveniently neglected to tell me one very, very important thing, which I'll come to in a minute. But first of all, I want to ask you all a question. Who presently has a website online, website business of any sort? Hands up, please. Okay. Okay, so keep your hands up, keep your hands up. Keep your hands up if you're totally happy with the amount of money you're making each day, each week. Each <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, there's a trick. Okay, now hands up, anybody who would love to have website or websites that makes them the money they desire. Excellent, because that's what we're all here for today, right? Okay. Going back to basically that one little convenient thing that they neglected to tell me was this. Traffic. Simply traffic. You see, the bottom line is here is that if you don't know how to get targeted traffic to your web business, you simply do not have an online business. It's really that simple. Totally and utterly simple. The fact of the matter is, and I want you to all write this down, no traffic equals no money. In fact, I'm going to be so wanting you to embrain this simple, simple saying in your head, no traffic equals what? Excellent. Right on the button. You see, simple facts. Putting a website online means absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. 98% of websites online at this moment in time are completely and utterly redundant. No one even knows they exist. No one even knows they are there. If you have the best idea, the best product, at the very, very best price, if people can't find you, then nothing will happen. Nothing. So what gives me the right to really stand up here in front of you today and tell you about traffic generation? Well, just to give you some of my background about myself, eight years on or X amount of years on from that day that I left that seminar, I invested hundreds and hundreds of hours in myself. Money, hours, training, purely basically on traffic generation. In fact, I I created sites and even gave my projects to other companies to see if they even did it better than I did. It went on for ages until actually I went out and said, right, here, basically, I have a product and service to offer businesses or clients on the internet to employ me to get them exactly where they want to go. Well, years on, these are the sort of clients, basically, I have and do consult for. ValueClick, World Corporate Internet Marketing Company, incorporates Commission Junction, And hands up, anyone heard of Commission Junction here? Okay. They incorporate also a a site called Price Runner. Anyone familiar with the Price Runner site.co.uk? Consulted for them back in 2006. Basically, by the end of 2008, they now rank number two in the United Kingdom for the top in the top ten of the price comparison sites in the UK. One of my ongoing clients, a company called GAC.co.uk or GuitarAmpKeyboard.com. Basically, started with them back in 2006. By November 2008, they are ranking top 10 of e-commerce sites in relation to music in the United Kingdom. As you can see here, 
You can, they weren't even in the top 40 before I started with them. As you can see now, they were ranking number nine at the end of 2008. And look at the company they're keeping. Play.com, HMV, Apple, Tesco, WH Smith. All major brand names. This was a small independent. They had no right to get there. That's what everyone thought. But you know, they did. You know why? Because the internet is a level playing field. You see, before the onset of, of the internet, legitimate business or small business or, or marketers just like ourselves, we just could only market via radio. Sorry, sorry they could only market via radio, TV, magazines, but they were just ridiculously expensive. We couldn't, we couldn't afford that. Here with the onset of the internet, you can take on anybody and beat them if you know how to do it. Results for GAC, 13,000 visitors a day, 1.4 million hits per month, taking up 0.79% of the UK market in relation to music and e-commerce. Now, it may not sound quite a lot, but believe me it is, when you think that Play.com actually takes up 45% of the whole UK market, along when you think of Apple, they're really, make it, they're really doing pretty well. Annual sales in excess of 23 million online, are they happy? Yes, they really, really are. <laughs> Okay, some SEO, SEO work, though, or clients that I have. Um, this particular site is, a, is a, actually a site of my own. It's a health insurance site that generates leads online. Um, as you can see here, it's ranking for key terms such as health insurance quote, ranking number four on Google. As you can see, the numbers there, ridiculous, mil, out of millions and millions of pages online. This site basically generates leads every day, which is sold to brokers uh, in, the, in that particular market between 30 and 40 pounds a lead. Also, you can see there, cheap health insurance, ranking number four. In fact, it ranks for multitude of terms in relation to this, this particular market. Interesting thing is, there I am, page one of Google, up against the might of people like Money Supermarket, AXA PPP, Boopa, all major insurers that you've all heard of. What right have I got to be there? Well, I've got every right to be there. This is the internet. This is the level playing field. Find the information. Action it. Continue with it. These are the results that can be achieved. Here's a travel site, LondonVacationGuide.com. Ranks number one on Google to turn London vacations and related terms above TripAdvisor and Virgin. Over 10 million related sites uh, against this term. Here's a client of mine in the fashion and styling. It's a glassslipper.co.uk. Ranks number one on Google for the term personal shopping. At over, basically over 10 million. It's even above Virgin. Also, personal shopper. Maybe the ladies in the audience here have heard all these terms before. Um, ranking number two. Well, we'll get Virgin maybe next week, I think, on that one. But we're number two at the moment anyway. <laughs> Corporate SMS text messaging business. Ranking number one for the term um, business SMS. This particular company works purely and solely basically with companies that want to improve their, their, their work schedule, their workflow. This, this is a million, multi-million pound company. We're ranking number one for their big terms. Also, SMS software. So, basically, apart from Google, sorry, search engine strategies and getting my clients on my own sites to basically nump to page one of Google, also, we basically do a lot, of, a lot of AdWords. This particular campaign here, now, I can't tell you who they are, but they've allowed me to actually show you the screenshots. This is the last 12 months from a particular client. We spent 281,000 pounds, and as you can see there, we had conversions to sale of basically 12,820. So how did this replicate? Well, Average Basket is actually a premium site, this, e-commerce. Average Basket is 230 pounds per sale. Total sales, the 12-month period, are just short of 3 million. 3 million. So does anyone think here that basically investing just short of a quarter of a million pounds and getting three million back is a pretty good investment? It, I'd say so. I'd say so. Okay, so I don't want you to think at this point we're just talking about large companies here or corporates. Here is something on the line of the independent marketer. This particular site, 97 pound ebook and video training. Okay? 12, this is the 12 month period, 850 sales. How did that replicate at $97? It replicated into £82,450 in sales in a 12-month period of one $97 ebook with video, video training. The spend there, 
This is actually in euros. I don't know why this particular client started this, but we just continue with it anyway. So just short of 7,000 euros, so I suppose at this moment in time, 7,000 pounds spent for the, for, for the last 12 months, but equated into $82,450. Anyone here think that's a good investment? Well, I'd say so. Here's an interesting one on certain Google AdWords strategies that I use, because what you've got to understand about Google AdWords is that it's probably the number one greatest marketing system ever invented. You see, what happens with Google is that they tell you, market your business to the world in 15 minutes, create your account, and off you go. What they don't do is tell you how to use it. Who's actually come over that problem? Who actually has an AdWords account? Anybody here? Okay. Who's, who, who's really having problems with their AdWords account? Anybody? Okay. <laughs> you see, that's the problem with it. They don't show you how to use it. See, I have a little saying. It's like going to the casino and asking them to teach you how to gamble. It's not going to happen. They'll just take your money and hope you want to figure it out. That's why they're so rich. However, you learn to figure it out. You learn to use it. You learn to utilize it to its full potential. It is a license to print money. A license to print money. This particular one here is interesting. This is actually only one month. One month. This is actually the month of May. Last month. Look at the impressions. 68,107,380, of which I set up this account that these, this particular client's ad, ads showed. They had 103,073 click-throughs at only six cents a click for one of the most competitive markets on the internet. It resulted in conversions of 9,654 for the month of May. So how did this equate to this, this particular uh, client? Well, there's the impressions. 103,000 at six cents per click. There's the conversions. It equated to sales of 27,354 pounds for the month of May for a spend of $6,000. I'm sure you're all agreed here, again, this is an amazing return on investment. Okay, now I hope you've all got your pens and papers there because we're going to go fast and furious because today I want to cram as much in as I can for you guys with, with regards to Google AdWords, 